Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am continuing LCM and HCF. In the last session, we have discussed uh, LCM three models. Now, in this session, I am going to explaining about uh, HCF three models. Uh, now, see the first model that is uh, same remainder. HCF first model, same remainder. See, here. The formation of this particular sentence is here. Also, there is a, a, we have two cases. One is remainder is mentioned. Remainder mentioned. That is uh, given in the problem. Remainder mentioned. And the second case is remainder not mentioned. Remainder not mentioned. What is the difference between uh, remainder mentioned and remainder not mentioned that I will explain. See here. Here the formation of that particular sentence is uh, as we are talking about HCF, he will ask about greatest number, greatest or largest or highest, whatever the sentence. Find the greatest number, greatest or largest or highest, greatest number, which on dividing, which on Dividing x, y, z, which on dividing x, y, z leaves the leaves the same remainder leaves the same remainder r in each case leaves the same remainder r in each case. This is a sentence. But whereas coming to this case, uh, here there is a small change. What is the greatest number? What is the greatest number? Which on dividing? Which on dividing? X, Y, Z leaves the, leaves the same remainder, leaves the same remainder in each case. Here there is a small change between a previous uh, sentence and this sentence. That is uh, in the previous sentence he is saying that uh, same remainder and also remainder is given in this particular sentence. But in this second case uh, remainder is not mentioned. He is saying that same remainder, but we don't know what is the exact remainder. He is not mentioning about that particular remainder. Now, in this case, the required number is, in first case, the required number is, as remainder is mentioned, HCF of given number minus its respect to remainder, x minus r, y minus r, and the Z minus R. You need to calculate the HCF of the numbers after subtracting the given number, given remainder from the numbers. You need to calculate the HCF of the numbers after subtracting the remainder from the given numbers, right? So, that is the required number for first case. Whereas, coming to second case, what if at all remainder is not mentioned? In that case, our required number is equal to our required number is equal to HCF of x minus y, y minus z, and z minus x. HCF of x minus y, y minus z, and z minus x. Here, some people will think that. Uh, uh, x minus y in the sense it is not that uh, suppose the value of x is less as comparing with y. You should not take the negative sign. It is nothing but uh, the difference between first two numbers, difference between second and third and the difference between first and last. That is our required answer. If the remainder is same remainder in first case uh, remainder mentioned uh, HCF of x minus r, y minus r, z minus r. If remainder is not mentioned, directly you can take the difference between 1 and 2, 2 and 3 and 1 and 3. After that, you can calculate the HCF of uh, all those numbers. 
that is the required number. This is about first model, same remainder. Now, coming to the second model. What is second model? Different remainders. Second model is different remainders. Here the question is, uh, find the greatest number, find the greatest number, which on dividing, which on dividing, x, y, z, which on dividing with x, y, z, leaves the remainders, leaves the remainders, as we are talking about the different remainders, every time the remainders are different. While dividing with x, remainder is r1 and r2 and last one r3. And uh, total three numbers are there. That is the reason why three remainders will be given respectively. It means while dividing with x, remainder is r1. While dividing with y, remainder is r2. While dividing with z, remainder is r3. In this case, whenever the remainders are different, in that case, our required number is nothing but uh, very simple. If the remainder is same remainder, you are subtracting that remainder from the given numbers. If remainders are different, here also same thing. Instead of HCF of x minus r1, given number minus its respect to remainder. That's it. First of all, you need to subtract the remainders uh, from the given numbers. After that, you can calculate the HCF. That is very easy. Z minus R3. First, you need to subtract the respect to remainders from the given numbers. Once you got those numbers, you just calculate the HCF of uh, those numbers. This is the required number if the remainders are different. Now, let's see the third model that is uh, based on number of digits. Third model based on number of digits. First we will discuss about only third model. After that we will go with the 3 and 1 combination, 3 and 2 combination. Here the sentence is, the question is the greatest, what is the greatest n digit number? Greatest n digit number which is exactly divisible by which is exactly divisible by x y z the greatest n digit number which is exactly divisible by x y z in that case in that case our required number is as we are talking about greatest n digit number, first of all you need to write the greatest n digit number, greatest n digit number minus remainder, minus remainder. Here you know how, uh, how do you get this uh, greatest n digit number. If you are talking about greatest 4 digit number, greatest 4 digit number is double nine, double nine. Greatest 4 digit number is uh, double nine. Double nine and greatest five digit number is double nine, double nine, triple nine, right? And uh, if you are talking about the greatest uh, three digit number, that is triple nine, you will definitely write this uh, particular number. Now, how can you calculate this remainder? This is also same model as that of uh, LCM. In LCM third model and HCF third model, both are uh, calculation of remainder is uh, similar model. Here, you will divide greatest n digit number, greatest n digit number with LCM, not HCF. Some people will think that uh, we have to divide with uh, HCF. That is wrong way of perception. You always you have to divide with uh, LCM. Here, you will get something remainder. This remainder is subtracted from this uh, greatest n digit number. Whatever the remainder you are getting after dividing greatest n digit number with LCM, you need to subtract that remainder from this greatest n digit number. This is the 
formula for greatest uh, required number in case of uh, based on number of digits. Uh, this is only for third model. In case uh, if he is asking about combination of 3 and 1 combination, combination of 3 and 1, 3 and 1 in the sense that is based on number of digits as well as uh, same remainder. In that case, your required number is uh, required number. There is no change at all. Here, only third model, this is your required number. And uh, in case the remainder is same remainder, you need to add the remainder which is given in the problem plus R1. Here, R1 is always indicates the remainder which is given in the problem. In case the remainders are different, if it is a combination of 3 and 2, in that case, your required number is directly third model is there is no change in third model greatest and digit number minus remainder and uh, it is a combination of second model. It means uh, different remainders. Whenever the remainders are different, you need to subtract the common difference. That is the uh, additional things you need to do. For same remainder, you need to add the remainder which is given in the problem. And for different remainders, you need to subtract the common difference. You know how to calculate the common difference. Common difference is nothing but given number minus its respect to remainder. That's it. That's all about all three models of LCM and HCF. These uh, total six models. These six models are very important uh, in LCM and HCF topic. Uh, so you must be aware of each and every model. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.